Hey everybody, it's Crazy Gaming Carol. How you doing? Today I'm gonna to be doing my second Q and A. So I'm still not quite sure how much you guys really like these Q and A's. Um, this Q and A, I mean the last Q and A, did not get nearly as many questions as. Um, the video when I asked you guys for questions. So if you guys aren't liking it, then just don't ask any questions. And when I see that I'm not getting enough questions, I will stop doing it. But if you do like it, keep commenting. So let's start answering your questions. From Cillion45, I don't know if that's how you pronounce your name, sorry. Um, this person asks, what is your favorite event slash type of puzzle slash or cube to solve? Um, I, I'm really not sure. I think it's probably it would probably just be 3x3 three three as for WCA event um, because I really don't do that many events because I don't speed solve, speed solve in like big cubes and the only other puzzle that isn't like an end by end by end is I do is like pure rink so yeah, I'd have to just be 3x3 three three for now but maybe later in the future it'll change. Um, from the same person, also will you open a PO box for fan mail? Uh, I probably won't be doing that any time soon at all because it's probably gonna take a, a lot of time to do, but you never know, sometimes in the future I might do it, but for now, no. From I like tasty stuff, this person says, what other hobbies do you have besides cubing? So um, I have a lot of other hobbies that I enjoy. I really like crafting things, so that's why I enjoy modding in terms of cubing. Um, I used to do that like rainbow loom stuff, I would make stuff out of duct tape, um, I would make clay charms out of polymer clay, all that stuff, um, I really enjoyed making little things. Um, I also enjoy like playing sports and stuff. Anything that involves a lot of movement, I enjoy. Uh, and I also enjoy acting. Mr. Olymp says, how many puzzles do you have? Um, I, I'm not actually quite sure. I would have to take an estimate because I'm not gonna take the time to count all my cubes. And I'm sure I don't have all of them in one place right now. They're probably all in miscellaneous places. I would probably have to say around, probably over a hundred of miscellaneous stuff, including every single type of 3x3 I have, I think you mean. Um, so yeah, definitely over 100, I would say 115, I'm going with that. Uh, it really depends if you in, if you include trivial puzzles and non-trivial puzzles, so about 100. From Aaron Jagger, I think that's how you pronounce your name, Jagger, Jagger, I don't know, sorry. Uh, what do you average on three by three? I average around 20 seconds plus or minus like five. I uh, haven't been practicing like a lot as much as I did before, but I still maintained about a 20 second average. From person 101, uh, this person asks, what is your best time on three by three, pure minx and two by two? Um, you can find my best times for uh, three by three and uh, two by two on my about page of my channel, um, but Right now, I'll just read it out to you guys. So my two by two personal best is 1.487. My three by three personal best is 8.205. And for that one, it, it was really lucky. It was probably, it's kind of a stupid scramble. Um, there were a lot of F2L pairs that were pre-made and I got a PLL skip. So really lucky on that one. Um, my four by four PB, even though you didn't ask, is 132.508. Uh, and Pyraminx, I, I don't really time myself in Pyraminx that much except at competitions. But I would say, like, because I average, I'm really slow, but I've done, like, I would say seven or eight seconds. I don't know. Uh, my Pyraminx isn't really one of my favorite events, so I don't do it all that much. Um, from SS Cuber, this person asks, when, what is your next comp slash when is your next comp? Um, I have no upcoming comps uh, planned. They have to be really close in my area. I probably wouldn't fly out anywhere to go to just a competition. Um, so I have none right now uh, planned, but some. But I'm sure there's going to be competitions in my area sometime in the future. All right, that's about it, guys. Those are all the questions I'm going to be answering today. Um, if you would like another Q&A, be sure to leave more questions in the comment uh, section of this video. Uh, if you would not like any more Q&As, then just don't. So that's how you can tell me whether or not you want a Q&A or not. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time on Crazy Cube and Carol. Bye!